welcome to another episode of Rock the Boat with Richard Hagen here on Yachting International Radio, your weekly dose of international boating industry news and opinions. Just last week, I reported that Bass Pro Shops owner White River Marine had purchased Hatteras Yachts. Well, this week there was news of another big acquisition. Warbird Marine Holdings announced that it has bought Yellowfin. Warbird Marine now owns two of boating's hottest brands, the other one being Invincible. But before we talk about Yellowfin and Invincible, I had to ask the question, who on earth is Warbird Marine Holdings? I'd never heard of them before and honestly, there's not that much information about them available online. Warbird Marine seems to be not much more than a small holding company with a basic management team. The real player is the company that owns Warbird, an entity called Eagle Tree Capital. It seems that they're a private equity firm based in New York. They own a bunch of mostly B2B companies, most of which I've never heard of. It's not clear to me what value Warbird really plans to add to Yellowfin via this acquisition. They say that the Yellowfin management team will remain in place. There was also a vague statement about investing in Yellowfin's facilities, human capital, and new product development. I guess time will tell. Yellowfin is what I'd call a boutique manufacturer of premium center console boats. They've been around for a long time and they make a few good products but they've never made a particularly memorable impact on the market. Plus their marketing is really bad. I mean they don't even have a YouTube channel and they don't have an Instagram account. You know on second thoughts maybe being sold off to a new owner is exactly what this company needed. And just to round things off I mentioned that Invincible is the other brand currently in the the Warbird portfolio. Well, Invincible are some of my favorite boats right now and that's mostly because they make some huge badass power catamarans. Their marketing is slick, the boats have been well received and they've sold in pretty good numbers too. Invincible is one of only a small but slowly growing group of high performance premium power catamaran builders in the US. This is a market segment that is gradually growing as US buyers are starting to understand the value of catamaran hulls and so I've really enjoyed seeing more and more Invincible hulls showing up on some of my favorite YouTube channels. For more information about Invincible, go to invincibleinternational.com and for more information about Yellowfin, visit yellowfin.com. Italian rigid inflatable boat manufacturer Lomac has unveiled three new models aimed directly at the fishing market. The three new boats are the Big Game 760, 600 and 540. Lomax says that they collaborated with a well-known professional fisherman in the design of these boats. This was done to ensure that the boats meet all of the requirements of the serious fishing client. According to Lomax, these three are the first ribs on the market that are specifically designed to go fishing while at the same time being comfortable enough to use as a family leisure boat. The largest boat in the range is the 760 and at a weight of 1.8 tons, it's no lightweight. On board, you'll find all of the equipment you can expect in a modern fishing boat, including live wells, rod holders, and plenty of storage. Under the deck is a 340 liter fuel tank and a 30 liter fresh water tank to serve the onboard sink and handheld shower. The console incorporates large Garmin multifunction displays, a fusion audio system, and all of the usual electronics needed for longer trips. Power is from a single Mercury Pro XS300 V8 outboard as standard, but the boat can be specified with dual outboards. The new boats are available to order right now. For more information, visit lomac.it. A few weeks ago, I spoke about a brand new super yacht support boat or shadow boat called Wayfinder that had just been completed by a Spanish shipyard. Wayfinder is a 68 meter long catamaran hull super yacht designed to carry all of the toys, additional supplies and additional equipment for a mega yacht that's currently in build, or so we were told. At the time that I made that video, Wayfinder's owner was an official secret. But this week, various sources began reporting that the owner is none other than Bill Gates. It's even on the yacht's Wikipedia page. Of course, this information was never officially confirmed and probably never will be due to contractual secrecy agreements. But I thought that was pretty interesting, mainly because of what it says about the next part of the story. In February 2020, it was widely reported all over the world that Bill had ordered a $640 million, 112 meter long hydrogen powered super yacht concept called Aqua designed by a Dutch design firm. The yacht was set to become a groundbreaking, first of its kind build with zero emissions propulsion. But it wasn't only the complex hydrogen fuel cell technology that made headlines. Aqua also boasts some of the most spectacular exterior and interior design work ever seen 
in any Supio. Just take a look at these images and tell me that you wouldn't also want to own one of these if you could afford to. Sadly, the studio responsible for Aqua's design subsequently released public statements denying that Bull ever ordered the yacht and further stating that they have no business relationship with him. Damn. But the good news is that Aqua remains available to purchase to anyone with deep enough pockets, so it might still see the light of day sometime in the future. I did quite a bit of research trying to establish whether or not Bill has in fact ordered a super yacht and currently there's no information that I could find linking him to any boats apart from possible ownership of Wayfinder. If it's true that he hasn't ordered a yacht from anyone, then it does beg the question as to what Wayfinder's purpose is. Will Wayfinder actually be his primary yacht? Or is he planning to buy a used boat on the brokerage market and then use Wayfinder to support that yacht? Only time will tell, but once we know, I'll be sure to cover that story right here. Iguana Yachts has shown off its latest color scheme and options pack and I liked it enough to give it a quick mention here. The company specializes in producing incredibly unique boats with amphibious capabilities. Hidden inside their range of hulls is a pair of motorized amphibious tracks that essentially allow you to launch and recover the boat simply by driving into and out of the water. Once you're in the water, the tracks fold up and into the hull, allowing for easy and safe use of the boat. The boat in this video is their commuter model. What's special about the one you see here is its dark metallic gray paint finish, its tow pole and an extending T-top. The top can be extended from being in line with the windshield up to the height you see here when the weather is good. You also have the option of an awning fitted to the T-top. Top. And finally, there's a comfortable cabin just big enough for two adults to sleep in. Most of all, I just absolutely love the color combination on this boat. That dark metallic gray with the cream color upholstery really looks luxurious and it's definitely the combo that I'd pick. If you'd like to learn more about Iguana's unique technology and its range of boats, head up the beach to iguana-yachts.com. Well, that's a wrap for this week's news. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. It really helps us out. For those of you who don't know, when I'm not making these videos, I'm a marketing copywriter specializing in working with the boating and marine industry. I offer professional blogs, email marketing, product descriptions, website content, and anything else that you need to be written up. And for everything else, I collaborate with a fantastic team of media professionals. Contact me on my website at richardhagen.com or via LinkedIn to set up a quick call. I'd love to hear from you. All of my details are in the description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.